Bone 23 videos. Hubbity, hop, hop, hop. How's everyone doing? Dar show is just fine. Never has been better, but will be quite a bit better soon. You'll see. This is episode 52 of the Pure and True Khajiit Outcast build, and I am enjoying the hell out of this one, especially because I decided to alter the rules of what defines pure from allowed to level up to allowed to put perk points in it. Being not allowed to level up skills is most of all a pain in the neck. You have to really avoid parts of the game and considering lockpicking and speech, it was never really possible to do it completely. Not putting perk points into skills makes them weak but still usable like an amateur would. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Anyway, in this episode, we'll get new quests, get an upgrade and maybe even get to do the one in solitude. We'll see. You'll see. Have fun. And to not bore you to death, here's the shopping Ready list for Shawstone, the Khajiit and Riften. I sold to all merchants. I bought so ebony arrows, silver ingots, rare ingredients and minor filled soldiers. I stole from Balamon's house silver, steel and iron ingots. And I raised my gold from 30,143 to 34,478. And that's it. Let's continue in Riften. Let's do the Grey Cow thing then. Stranger's Journal. You've done well. I don't care if you're the Grey Fox or a pink zombie. Give me what I came for. Of course. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again. Yeah, okay. To anyone. And the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal is done. Uh, let me refresh the Blessing of Talos. And enter the Thieves Guild. No, I do not want to talk to you, Brynjolf. I'll be traveling, yeah? Hey, Delvin. Listen. Pull up a seat. I've completed the numbers job. I'll pet you in the bag all day, but coins, coin, right? Right. Hey, this guild needs to come. Hey, Out with away it. Away with Time is money. I've completed the burglary job. I suppose you want your share now. Here you go. Indeed. Don't give up now. There's plenty of loot out there. Hey, Delvin. Right for the I need you to make your way to solitude and talk to Erica. He's looking to run some kind of a shield job. Now, he's not exactly going to welcome you with open arms, but keep you cool. Do this job right, and we've just made an important friend out there. Sounds great. Started the dainty slot. Let's select it. Plenty more work for the likes of you. Hey, Tornilia. Welcome to the cozy little family. What do you have? I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. 3,000 gold. ka -ching! You'll find Rasad with his caravan group. Just don't do anything stupid when you get there. Okay. I've got all sorts of weapons. Take a look. I sell all. All right. All right. And I did not take another job, because that's it. Jobs are done. We talk to Erica. And we have the influence of the Thieves Guild in all major towns.
You have a cooking pot in there, right? Are you still open? And done. Which reminds me, I could eat something. Yep, let's go to Helga's bunkhouse. Can I help you? Well, not you. Ah, there you are. Yes? Know of anyone in need of fishing work around Skyrim? Maybe you can help me. You're headed to Dawnstar. It's all in this note. Oh, how fitting. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. Mm. Think you can handle it? I'm always up for one of your crap dilemmas. Thanks. Good luck out there. Crap dilemmas. Do I have to read a note? Letter on mud crab attacks. Hey. Let me sleep then for three hours. And let me check. Ah, the Khajiit here. No. Where's Risad? Did I forget something? No. Risad is in Markath. Hmm. He will come to Whiterun, though. Yeah. And who's Kiar? Oh, there's Crystal Drift Cave. Hmm. I'm not really interested. No, take me to Falkreath. I can take you to any of the hold. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Falkreath, please. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Good. Get up there. Daytime. Do business now. Yep. Get well met. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Den Gear. Someone new? Take a look. Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Filter of glibness. This is my entrance to the Major's College. Oh, 
That was a lot of stuff. Until next time. Next goal, Dark Brotherhood. Ah, oh, Resad is still in Marker. Hey, Astrid. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well, yeah. Well done. Thank you. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Yes, the blushing bride now serves cities in the void. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. Okay. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Okay. Did I read this? No. Ha. Hey, Babette. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. What have you got? A bit of this and a bit of that. I want chokeberries. Chokeberries. Ah, oh, there you are. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Uh -huh. Your next contract awaits, Good. as I'm sure Astrid indicated. Yes. She did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. Hmm. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Wow. I understand. Gaius Morrow will die. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Moro's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yeah? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Moro in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. I see. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Okay. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. I see. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the next goal. Of Home. A giant. A giant waits at home. Okay. 
I can take care of a giant. No problem. Let's put on the sneak gear. No, I want both my daggers. And that's it. That wasn't too hard, right? Let's get sorted here. And here is, in very short, what I did at Lakeview Manor. I got sorted, I created jewelry and raised my smithing level to 86. I got well rested, I made potions, I made money makers and mean poisons. And a fortified smithing potion. I used the rare curious ingredients and the recipes I got from potions.com where you all should get your recipes from and I raised my alchemy level to 100 yes done I disenchanted some items I upgraded the ebony daggers and now they are doing 5 damage more each I leveled up to level 47 put a point into health and into armsman 5 I had a perk point left and invested it into snake blood for poison resistance and that's it done and let's get out what a session. There's Resad. Okay. On his way to White Run. I'm changing my standing stone to the warrior stone. No, I'm not. Why are you not working, Alvor? It's too early. I see. You and me. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right, then. All right, then. Come on. It took him a long time to think about going around my horse. Well, at least he made it. Whatever. Looking to protect yourself or deal some da mm hmm Okie doke. What have you got for me today? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them. 
Do me a favor. No favors from me. I'm sorry. I've got plenty of good merchandise for you. Take a look. There you are. Hey, Rizad. You approach as if you know us, stranger. Who are you? Have I bring you an are? offer from the Thieves' Guild. Yes, I've heard the Guild is rising back to power. An alliance would be most beneficial to both parties. I will consider the offer, but I'll have to discuss it with the other Yeah, sure. Guys. Perhaps this will sweeten the deal. Ah, Moon Sugar. I could smell it on you. I am pleased with this offer, and accept. Take my word to the leaders of your guild, and tell them we look forward to a prosperous and profitable future. If you happen upon any of our caravans in your travels, we'd also be more than willing to pay you a fair sum for any of your stolen goods. Great. What have you got for sale? Take a look. What is that? Damnation. Okay. Give my regards to Tonilia. Tell her I'll contact her. And while we were here, let's go west. Put on the warm clothes. I don't need these anymore. Let's visit our farm. It's kind of on the way. Hey there, I have returned. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. I'm here to collect the plantation's profits. Very good, sir. 13,000. Shot time's over. Nice. And while I'm here, let me switch the entire production to Blister Ward. That should be enough. Topi, there you are. Now we are riding to Dushnigyal. Mm. 
Hey Burgok. May your next fight bring you I like to train. Friend. You'll never compare to me, but I can try to teach you anyway. Last time training. One, two, three, four. Alright then. Orc poisons are Ah, so you're an alchemist then. What have you got? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Sounds good. And a silver ore. Nice. What? I have nothing to sell anymore. Wow. All right then. I will sleep in solitude. Let's go to Markath. Do I want to check in with Enden? Nah, I don't think so. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I say, catch me. Dragon. I don't know. Maybe it's frost. Pretty sure I hit him. Help! Stop shooting at me. I'm helping you. Can't hit him. Wow. I can't go up there.
He's too far away. Yeah, I, I want to defeat this dragon. The yard. Stop right there. Catch me. By the way, the yard. In the name I of the yard. To hold. I need to sleep. You lost? Nope. You're a guest. And father says we have to a be fine polite. day to you. Get friend. up. May you die with a sword in your hands. Let me sleep for four hours. Point into health. And let me put this into archery. Critical hit. Slows time. Now let's do critical hits. Select my sneak gear. What's the time? It is too early. Can I help you? All right then. Oh, hello. Have a seat, will ya? Let's sleep for two more hours. What's the time? Time is good. Could be perfect. So, Darsho made it to solitude. What happens there will be revealed in the next episode. This one was full of jumps. The actual time it took me to play through all of this was almost two hours. Two hours of sorting, smithing, brewing, selling, buying, upgrading. I'm glad we concentrate on the main events. Still, Darsho needed all the other stuff to become the Khajiit he is now. In the next episode, we will enter solitude, make it our thief's guild puppy dog. Be there or be extra square and take good care, my friends.